Hello, good evening. I'm Jenny Kirk. More artworks have appeared this weekend in Suffolk, which it's thought could be the work of the world-famous graffiti artist Banksy. His identity has always been a secret, but his work has sold for millions of pounds. Paintings have appeared on walls in Lowestoft, Galston and Great Yarmouth, but so far there's been no official confirmation that they're actually by Banksy. Attracting a crowd, the latest piece of street art to mysteriously pop up in Alton Broad. And word has it, the elusive and world famous artist Banksy could be behind it. This one, looking at it, I think possibly could be. What, what do you think? Do you think they're all Banksy? Um, the seagull, no, I don't think it's Banksy. Uh, the claw, yeah. Along the coast and more crowds asking the same question. Is it or isn't it a Banksy? Dad's not convinced though, is he? No. So we thought we'd go on a trail and see if we can see for ourselves. What do you think, boys? I think it's pretty good, but I think the other ones might be a bit better. See, I hope that what I've seen is his, but you know, if it isn't his, it's still good to look at. Galston, Lewistoff and Great Yarmouth are all hoping to become the UK city of culture in 2025. So could this be Banksy's way of endorsing the bid? Seven pieces have popped up along the coast this weekend and artist Ruben Cruz from Great Yarmouth believes this is Banksy's way of supporting the bid. And how convinced are you that they are genuine Banksy's then? I believe it's Banksy because if we look at Banksy's style, the stencil looks like he is never using a full can of paint. So I think all this kind of mystery needs to be Banksy. For yeah. sure, needs to be Banksy. For now, the speculation continues, but could Alan from Alton Broad have seen the artist actually at work? I was walking along the path, and there were two guys with high-vis jackets, and they'd set up some scaffolding, obviously there, and I thought they were doing something to the bridge. Um, so I never questioned it, I just walked past, and uh, I should have stopped and looked, really, but you just don't, do you? No word yet from the Bristol-based artist, with some suggesting that's because he's too busy enjoying a staycation in the region. Thomas McGill, BBC Look East.